Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, my name is Mirna Christensen. Today I will share with you the best vegan diet you can eat. But before we will jump into this video, click the like and subscribe button down below so you won't miss any of my amazing upcoming videos. When you're thinking you will find the answer for how you can eat a proper vegan diet in this video, like there's one solution and you're mistaken because first of all there are different ways to eat vegan and everyone has to find out for themselves what works for this particular body in general I would say a whole food diet is the best diet when you have a proper and normal functioning body and digestive system a whole food diet is the best that means fat carbs protein fiber and all of that you have to eat in moderation not a high fat diet not a high carb diet not a low fiber diet when you have a normal functioning body you have to eat everything in moderation i personally eat a whole food plant-based diet and i eat like almost no processed foods Mostly because I don't like them and of course I'm not good in digesting them and I don't feel my best when I eat a processed food so why should I eat them? When I don't like them and when I can't digest them very well. And now let's make a list with the do's and don'ts. First of all, this is a general list, so you have to work it off yourself. By the way, I will put this list on my homepage. You can download it, you can print it, you can work it off and you have the list always in front of you. And we will start with a do, so that's whole foods. And the don't, a lot of processed foods. Then you have to find out what your body can digest well and what it doesn't digest so well that means for me personally i have a gluten sensitivity so i cut it out all of the gluten in my diet so this is for me a don't but for example i'm i have no problems digesting fiber so i eat a lot of greens and um, this is what you have to find out so what what can you digest and what can't you digest maybe you have allergies or something this is also like a don't when it comes to fiber our bodies react very differently often when you come from a normal not vegan diet that means when you before ate a lot of meat and other animal products you have problems digesting fiber because this kind of diet is very low in fiber so you have to slowly increase the fiber amount because when you start eating a higher fiber diet and the the, the, the whole food plant-based vegan diet is very high in fiber when you start to eat like that overnight your body often gets like very bloated or sometimes you have digestive problems so start increasing fiber slowly day by day and this way you can find out how much fiber your body can digest good at uh, this certain time and then you can increase it and when you <clears throat> when you feel that you get like very bloated and gassy again then you should um, stay on that level or decrease it a little bit and when you then see oh i can increase it again then increase it again when you come to a level where nothing will change this is sorry <coughs> this is the fiber amount your body is digesting the best so do find out what amount of fiber your body can digest properly properly need properly the third step is to cut out the foods you don't like and eat the foods you like. 
Of course, that doesn't mean that you like only eat chocolate the whole day. That's not good. In my opinion, that's not good. When you can digest cucumbers very well, but you don't like them, um, don't force yourself to eat cucumbers. There are a lot of other foods you can eat instead of cucumbers. Do find out what you like to eat and what you don't like to eat. And don't, just don't eat the things you don't like. For example, I have no problems digesting the celery bulb or how, how is this called? Not the celery stalks, but the... I don't know the English word for it. I have no problems digesting it, but I don't like it at all, so I don't eat it. And there are so many other things you could eat instead of this particular thing you don't like. The next thing is treat yourself. To have a good diet, it's also important to treat yourself. That doesn't mean that you have to eat, include cheat meals or treat meals. I will do another video on that, on what I think about treat and cheat meals. But when I think about treating myself, it's the piece of chocolate I eat in the evening because I just love chocolate. Or when you would like to have an ice cream, make yourself ice cream or buy ice cream. You know, you can always make an ice cream, but you can buy ice cream, um, buy a donuts yeah. or some other past pastry or um, bake something nice for you, you know, just like little treats. You know you don't have to eat 100% healthy, that means you don't have to eat like only fruit and vegetables the whole day long. You can also include things that are not super healthy, you know. I personally, I love uh, fruits and vegetables. I don't buy pastry, I, I'm not a fan of it, I rarely bake for myself because I'm not a fan of it, but I like to, to make myself pancakes, so every now and then, but in general I'm not a huge fan of super sweet, super sweet or super processed foods, so I really love this whole food and like fruit and vegetable thing. <laughs> if this applies to you too, it's great, but a lot of people just love to have some treats for themselves and you should give them to yourself. The most important thing is the balance. Balance is key in every diet, in every situation of life. You always have to enjoy life, but you also have to see if this is good for you or not so you you have to balance everything out and the last point which is also very important is vitamins nutrients minerals and all that stuff i always recommend to take a b12 supplement for everyone like not only vegans but also vegetarians and also meat eaters because, uh, you know, B12 is actually in the soil, but as our cultures, you know, it... Or there isn't much B12 in our soil, so I always recommend to take a supplement. Um, try to take a natural supplement. I will leave the supplement I take down below so you can check it out but I think you can only order it in Germany I'm not sure you have to find out yourself or I will take a look at it and I will write it down in the description too just go to your doctor and make blood tests I take uh, I make blood tests every like six seven eight months and I have great results so i only take b12 supplement but maybe you need uh vitamin d maybe you need vitamin k or whatever but just find out yourself if your body needs certain vitamins or minerals so that you can uh, take a supplement or eat more of the foods that have these certain vitamins and minerals so do find out what kind of supplements you may need and that's the list 
And again, it's all about balance and I hope this video helped you or will help you to find out what kind of a vegan diet works for you, works the best for you. Because after so many vegans have gone non-vegan, it's a topic to talk about that you have to get all of your nutrients and you can thrive on a plant-based vegan diet. I mean, I'm a very good example. I wouldn't say I'm the example, you know, but there are many vegans out there who've been vegan for many years, longer than I am, and I'm vegan for one third of my life or something, so uh, quite some time. It's not like that you have to eat animal products to have a good functioning body, this works on a vegan diet much better, in my opinion. That's my opinion, so please don't judge me. But in my opinion, the vegan diet is the best diet for all of us. And you should at least give it a try. Take my do's and don'ts and find out what's the best vegan diet for you. What you like, what you don't like, what your body can digest and what it can't digest. And that's everything. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next week again. And I remind you again, click the like and subscribe button down below. And until then, have a wonderful time. And goodbye.